Hey team, Jen here. I wanted to chime in on our beginning discussion about uh, why does Sargasso see with a topic that always irks me quite a bit when I whenever I read Rice's novel. Um, as you know, uh, why does Sargasso see is Rice's revisioning of the classic English text Jane Eyre. Now, not all of you in this class have read Jane Eyre. Uh, but you should. <laughs> it's a great novel. Anyway, um, everybody knows who has read Jane Eyre that Rochester is the masculine hero of that tale. In Wide Sargasso Sea, Rochester appears as well as Antoinette's husband. Um, and I think it's interesting and it's perplexing for me that Rochester is never named that Rochester is never named by Rice in her novel. Um, what, what is most alarming about this is that Rochester, uh, a character who we might go on to call X because he doesn't have a name, X is actually given his own chapter in which he narrates some of the plot, some of the action, some of his own feelings. Uh, we actually view some of the story from X's perspective. And yet, even in letters from his father, or in his own narration of himself, or in Antoinette's narration of her husband, nobody ever says his name. And so, at first blush, why does Sargasso see strikes me as a rather feminist text. Um, I see some empowerment for women, especially of Christophine, for example, in Wide Sargasso Sea. And there's also much disempowerment as well. But for me, this novel seems very masculinist. It seems to really highlight the plight of X. Um, he doesn't really, what does it mean when one of your main protagonists and even one of your central narrators is unnamed. It almost conveys a sense of silence, a sense of repression. It's not good. Um, through, through our study of gender theory, we learn that the silenced voice indicates that there's uh, a disempowerment happening, a kind of, a kind of um, squashing down. So when you visit why does Sargasso see, and you are tempted to read it as a feminist text. It always begs the point of why? Why is X left unnamed? And what are we supposed to take away from Rice's portrayal of the male protagonist of this novel? That's something that I'm constantly questioning every time I revisit Why does Sargasso see. Um, it seems almost as if Rice is problematizing his role to a certain extent. And I'm really curious to find out what you all think about X in this context. I look forward to it.